Hola, it's Gabby here for Crafty Gabby and today we're going to um, sketch I'm going to sketch uh, some dolls that I normally do only in fabric but I'm going to do them in cars and also in fabric I'm going to make uh, two types of dolls the one that is just painting on the fabric and the one that is with the dress, the hair and everything we're going to call it the 2D doll and the 3D doll um, of course the um, car uh, the cars all are in different sizes because I measured the doll to see how it was convenient uh, for the car size also if you see uh, my oldest videos you will see that I like the normal A2 size I think it's called it because I almost never use it but I like more big cars, long or, or big, 6x8, uh, 8x8 or 6x6, six six, stuff like that. I like um, big stamps and I like big die cuts um, more than small. I love everything that is crafty but if I can go in the cars for bigger, I like it better. It's for that that I don't make the dolls that small. As you see in sketching, I I'm not an expert and I am self-taught uh, um, crafter uh, um, I never receive a class or anything it's for that that when I am sketching I just um, if you see I erase a lot it's because it's I'm just learning uh, eye shapes or hair shapes or positions or how to make the dresses and stuff like that it's good to um, have mistakes because the m more mistakes you have the more you learn and um, you will see in a moment that you practice a lot of the sketching you will accomplish what you you want and in this sketch I'm going to only sketch I think three or four no I think four dolls and after that I'm going to I'm going to uh, start um, tracing them just for the outside and you will see the outside is going to be needed when you're going to make the 2D doll but not the 3D doll and also going to measure the dolls and the way you will see the the size of the car and the paper I also write in the pattern the paper that I'm going to use in each doll because I don't want to use the same paper because we're going to add different elements um, they're going to have fabric and different paints and different colors um, I want to see how much I can put <clears throat> sorry some techniques and it's for that reason that I'm going to use <clears throat> sorry uh, I'm going to use um, different papers and different mediums. Uh, the dolls some have different eyes and different styles and I learned how to do these dolls long time ago. I have several dolls made like these ones in my room. They are similar but not the same. I never do the same doll twice. It's for that my videos take this long because I'm thinking in in the moment that I create it. I plan a little bit, but not the whole thing. Um, it's for that that I, if you see me like I stuck in the video, it's because I'm stuck for real. Like thinking now, what, how I do this, or uh, what color I use, or what color is better, how I do the hair, how I do the eyes, and stuff like that. Uh, and I never, almost never, uh, practice something that I put in videos. Uh, most of the time I do in video what is my first time doing it. Uh, it's for that it takes me so long to edit a video, um, add a video. I wish I can add videos more frequently, but um, it, editing it takes a really long time for me. I am not an expert. I just doing this because 
I am a passionate for crafting and it's my therapy. It helped me a lot you know, to think in uh, my, my problems or to keep my mind occupied. And I just want to show what I know and maybe, just maybe, you can learn something from me. Um, I hope you like this video of my process of sketching and I hope you like all the process of the dolls. I'm going to make in total 10 dolls but they're going to be in different videos. This video is just um, almost 11 minutes. You can see it on faster speed in the settings on um, YouTube. If you want, it's just me sketching and planning. And the other video are going to have the car and the 2D doll. And the third video is going to have the 3D doll only. And I'm going to do most of the videos in two parts because do the 3D doll it take long time the sketching is only to be in this video also I'm going to add the patterns of the dolls and the dresses if you don't want to sketch you just want to do it uh, you like one of the dolls and you want to do it in a car or in something you just um, get the patterns from my blog um, I also going to um, do the it will be the fourth video I think that is going to have how I, I um, as, as assembled the doll because in the video for the first doll that you see here in this moment the first doll is going to be the one that's sitting in the middle with the big bow in the head I'm going to do her um, as a car to the doll and 3D doll as I said before but uh, some part of the video erased the part of the video where I made the dress and where I may assemble the doll that I'm going to teach I'm going to try not erase that part of the video for the second doll that I'm going to make this doll I'm going to make her, her as a Halloween style I just saw her and I feel um, Halloween-y and I say I want to make her for Halloween and that's what I did I know we are just in May, but uh, sometimes you just want to do Christmas in August and Halloween in May. After I finish with all this doll, uh, I'm also going to start sketching uh, Mermaid. I am, um, I have like a soft spot for Mermaid, I love Mermaid, I, I wish I can have the complete collection of mermaid stamps but for some time I don't going to use like I say stamps maybe just to add some backgrounds in the car of these dolls I will use the smallest stamps or flower stamps but most of the time I'm going to try to use for this uh, ten dolls my uh, sketches I'm going to try to sketch flower I'm going to try to do backgrounds like I said with different medias and different type of paper after I finish the three dolls you see here I made the mermaid um, when you have them in black and white they don't look a pretty but when you add color uh, they look better uh, you see here I'm just tracing the outside of the doll because it's going to help me to trace the doll in the fabric I most of the time use uh, muslin or um, awesome board. I really don't know if the pronunciation is that but it's more um, rustic and thick fabric I love that fabric to make the dolls um, and for the pattern of the 3D doll that is a little bit more complicated because you have to like disassemble the doll maybe in your mind to see how you can make uh, the pattern but I will show uh, that um, in the third video I think no no fourth video second doll let's say it like that and you see here I'm measuring 
how I want the size of the cards and after that I just going to transfer the doll to each um, paper that I want. I transfer some to Bristol paper, some of them to marker paper and some of them to um, watercolor paper and we're going to do it in different medias as I say, I repeat myself, I know, I'm sorry about that. Well, um, this is it for this video. Like I say, it is too long for you. Watch it in uh, two times the speed in YouTube, in the settings, and it will be half of the time that is here. I just transfer all the cards with my light table. Um, that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, goodbye.